Hey guys, Chris here. Today we have the Osprey Daylight Plus Day Pack. This is an all around day pack for travel, day trips, going to the museum, going to work, riding your bike, going to the farmer's market, going to work, and going to do a day hike after work. But one of the main things I really like about it is it folds down, flattens down, really thin and you can put this thing right in the bottom of your suitcase and now you're ready to travel with it this little thing will fit inside your your suitcase also i i was able to get it in the right in here look at this Look at that, got it, <laughs> it's fighting me. There it is, it fits so. Look at that, it fits right inside the top lid of the suitcase. You can just zip that up, and now you're traveling and it's not even taking up even that much room. Look at that, isn't that great? So we're gonna take a look at this and to go over all the details, that's next. said this is a great pack for travel and all-purpose day pack very affordable compared to the other uh, Osprey day packs it is exactly one pound 24 ounces 1.24 ounces it is 20 liters 1220 cubic inches of space inside there here I am <laughs> it is uh, 65 dollars $55 is the price of the Daylight. This is the Daylight Plus, as we said. And it is 19 inches tall, 12 inches wide. And let's take a look at this. It does have the external cargo area right here. I like these external cargo areas. I, I like to be able to grab things as I'm hiking. You can see it's not very wide. It's as wide as the day pack and then it tapers down so it creates this little pocket here but I was able to get a variety of things inside there and so you could take a put a map in there your sunscreen lip balm things like that things you want to grab I would not put a cell phone in there uh, take a hat put that in here trail bar Things like that. Things you're just going to grab and want to put quick access to and it's not in the bottom of your day pack. That's what I would do with that. It does have a pocket on the external cargo. And then look at the size of that. That's like the full, the full ex, uh, ex, cargo pocket is another pocket. So you could take your um, USB battery charger. And I got I got this recently. Isn't this great? Black Web USB charger. This thing is waterproof, dustproof, has a LED light on it. Isn't that great? <laughs> An LED light on your charger. And but something like that would work great inside here. Then it's not the in your way and only when you need it but you know it's right there does have a external pocket dual loop zippers at the top here comes down it's about uh, about halfway down the pack here for this pocket you can see inside here there's two mesh pockets so you're gonna put your keys in here it does have a key holder right here put your keys in there ballpoint pen wallet other charging devices, cell phone could go in here. Anything that you'd want quick access to, but it's more secure, that's where I would put that. It does have two mesh pockets on the outside. These are for water bottles. Now the problem with these two pockets is they're not deep enough 
that I found for the water bottle. So here's a standard, that's a good size bottle, but that's a standard bottle. Here's a, a regular water bottle from the Mini Mart, so to speak. And as you can see, it looks like it's deeper, but it's tapered and the, the bottle's only gonna go to this line here. And it does not hug the bottle well. So it's a kind of an open, see it sits there, but you can see it tapers at the top here down and then it tapers down this way. So it is gonna be a problem with you bending over and the thing sliding out. And I've seen reviews where people said it was really annoying because the bottle kept falling out. So the solution would be take the external uh, pouch here, pocket, take the strap from that, run it through. If you have this style of bottle, it's only gonna work with this style of bottle, run it through that while well, it's in there. And then secure that. And that is not going anywhere, see that? So that'll stay in there. But the good news is, with this pocket not working very well at all, in my opinion, it does have an external hydration sleeve on it. So your water can go inside here. So here's the external hydration sleeve. And that will hold, I got a 85 ounce, 2.5 liter by Osprey. It's their new style. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? This thing slides off and it's supposed to be easier to clean and just easier to work with. And it does not leak. I have not found any leaking on this so far. So far I'm still, I'm still dry. So, but that would fit nicely inside there. There we go. So, does have the external hydration. And then this would come down the shoulder strap like that. So there's your water. So with these pockets, I guess you would, could put trail bars in here, put hat and gloves maybe, things that would kind of puff out and fill it out, but nothing nothing that you're concerned with would go should go in there, in my opinion. Next we have the main compartment at the top here, dual loop zippers again. I love the dual zoop loop, I can't say that. Dual zoop zippers. Dual loop zippers, say that five times fast. That opens up about halfway down, as you can see. And this is where your laptop sleeve is. Isn't that great to have a laptop sleeve in a day pack? So that's got a, a solid buckle up here. If you, and this will work for a 13 inch laptop. If you don't use it for the laptop, you could, you could put your hydration in here. You could put maps in here. You could put, I got some emergency things. You could slide those. Look at that, that could slide right in the back there. Separate it out from the main, the main uh, part of the pack there. Uh, do have a rain jacket. You stuff that in here, yes. And I have a polar fleece, pullover polar fleece, stick that in there. And look at that, I still got almost half the space for other things to go near the top. So you can see why it's important to put all your important things in these pockets and then just the big bulky things in here. But great little pack. Very solid, good material on it. It's water resistant, probably waterproof. Not positive on that. The back panel is mesh. It's got a foam panel back here and then it breathes. You can see the, the cut, the die cut in here. Does have a belt. Check that out, it's got a belt, but it's just a thin 
strap. So this belt is not meant to be, you know, it's not meant to be this kind of belt. This is a much more comfortable belt. That's just, this is meant to put the weight on your hips. And this is meant to keep the pack solid on your back so it's not sliding around just at that pivot point of your shoulder straps, right? So that'll help if you're mountain biking, if you're skiing, if you're uh, kayaking, things like that. So it's a great little pack for uh, just multi-purpose. Uh, some people, they don't want these straps. This is the only thing I could think of to do is to click it and then just secure it down like that and to kind of get that out of the way. Uh, it will. You can remove this strap. The buckle will stay here. See that? The buckle will end up staying on there. That's just the way it's designed. But you can get the strap off if you don't really don't want the strap on there. It does have a sternum strap with this adjustable sternum strap right there. Those are nice. Gives you a little more comfort and uh, adjustability, I guess. Does have the whistle. All these Ospreys have the whistle. This one's really loud. It pierced my ears. Oh! And that could really be helpful in an emergency if somebody's nearby looking for you. Uh, at least you have some way to make communicate with them. But the shoulder straps are, you can see they're not very thick. They're fairly thin, but it is padded. It's breathable, padded. It's got the foam in here. Again, all these features like this make it lightweight, keeps, that, keeps the weight you know, down to that 1.24 ounces, one pound, two, four, two, four ounces. And so that helps with, with all of that. But let's see, anything else that I'm missing? Oh, there's a little grommet here. See that? That's in case water gets in here and leaks and it just doesn't sit inside this. It'll at least have a way to drain out. It does have a handle here in the middle. And uh, overall, nice little pack. Uh, the, uh, the pluses are it's lightweight, it's very affordable, comes in like eight, 10 different colors and the cons are the water bottle situation I really don't like that they, they needed to make this a little snugger and a little deeper and uh, more elasticity around the top of it I think that would have made a huge difference but there you have it Osprey Daylight Plus Okay, next up, I have a top five list. I haven't done this in a while. I've had fun doing these. Top five funniest t-shirts I could find on the internet. So let's get to it, shall we? Number five. I like big mountains and I cannot lie. <laughs> That's a reference to that song. I like big mountains and I cannot lie. I think that's uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot is the rapper. I'm not uh, a big rapper kind of person, but. Number four. Is my bike okay? <laughs> Look at this t-shirt. It's upside down. The guy's anticipating, or the person, the girl, or whoever's riding this bike is anticipating. A little crash there, and they're ready to make sure that their bike is okay. That's pretty funny. Number three. Sorry for what I said while we were trying to park the camper. <laughs> yeah, I can really relate to this one, as uh, this was my experience growing up with my dad backing up our little camper. And uh, yes, totally relate to number three. Number two. My husband said, choose him or hiking. I miss him sometimes. <laughs> Apparently she likes to hike. <laughs> so there you have it. Number one. And the number one t-shirt, the outdoor t-shirt, sloth hiking tee will get there when we get there. <laughs> I like that one. Yes. There we go. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I got more things coming up, more reviews, and some outdoor trips. 
So subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. That would help me out a lot. Oh, and I got some products I want to give away. I got some backpacks. I'm going to go through, pick out, and then I'm going to give them away. And whoever's, who's ever watching, it's going to get some Osprey backpacks or whatever. So we'll find out. So, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep hiking.